They are centered over an intake die for the first of two or three deep draw and ironing operations. This tooling is made from either high grade tool steel or it is sometimes inserted with carbide to provide better wear resistance. The first draw or cupping press utilizes up to 800 tons of force to complete the draw. After the cup exits the last ironing die, stripper jaws are engaged to remove the cup from the mandrel. After annealing, cleaning, and relubrication operations, first draw cups and secondary cups are processed through the final draw. This press utilizes up to 250 tons of force. Since draw rates are relatively quick, a flood type coolant is used to prevent overheating. Most scuba cylinders are produced in three draws, each performing approximately 60% reduction of the material diameter and thickness. The deep draw and ironing process produces scuba cylinders with optimum buoyancy characteristics due to excellent wall thickness control. In order to accurately control cylinder uniformity and length, the open end of the shell is subject to a trimming operation. After ultrasonic inspection is completed, an oxygen fuel gas torch is used to heat the open end of the cylinder shell to approximately 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. The hot spinning process is used to form the upper portion of the cylinder. It is placed into a spinning lathe that operates at about 1000 RPM and is programmed using CNC technology. Using synchronous movements of two axes, the machine gradually forms the shoulder and neck areas of the cylinder. The hot spinning process must be carried out with care and expertise so that folds or other defects are not introduced into the neck area of the cylinder. Shoulder profiles are normally hemispherical in shape, with a thickness approaching two to three times the sidewall thickness near the neck. Worthington cylinders are closed completely prior to heat treatment which minimizes interior oxidation for a smoother surface finish. All cylinders are processed through a direct fired austenitizing furnace, followed by an aqueous polymer quenchant, and then a direct fired tempering furnace. These furnaces are computer controlled to ensure optimum and consistent mechanical properties needed to meet regulatory and customer needs. Cylinders are then machined to provide the required internal thread and o-ring groove if necessary. Machining coolants are 100% synthetic, so that hydrocarbons are not introduced into the cylinder. Oxides that are formed during heat treat operations are removed by shock blasting. This is a very effective method of cleaning steel surfaces. The cylinder interior is also blasted to provide excellent cleanliness. Hydrostatic testing is performed using the volumetric expansion method. Prior to performing the test, the internal volume and tear weight is recorded for each individual cylinder. Cylinders are either pressurized to 5 thirds of service pressure for DOT 3AA cylinders or to a different specified value for special permit cylinders. Once testing is complete, cylinders are cleaned with hot water and purified air. Cylinders are permanently marked with regulatory information such as the specification, service pressure, test date, and serial number. Often, additional customer markings will be added. The majority of industrial gas cylinders, a corrosion-resistant primer,